Einstein had conflicting theories about how time works, both agreed that time moves only forward. So far, no physical evidence suggests anything in the universe can dodge time. Scientists aren't entirely sure why time moves only forward, but they have theories. One theory hinges on the second law of thermodynamics, which states that everything in the universe moves from low to high entropy, or from uniformity to disorder. The arrow of time suggests that time is asymmetrical, with events progressing at the Big Bang to the chaotic arrangement of galaxies and their inhabitants today. Another theory proposes that the passage of time is due to our expanding universe. As the universe expands, it pulls time with it because space and time are interconnected. However, this implies that if the universe were to reach a theoretical expansion limit and begin to contract, time would reverse, creating a paradox. As we ponder the intricacies of space and time, we can't help but wonder, what does the dimensionality of space-time truly entail? There's a third dimension of space. The same applies, it's just a generalization of geometry. We can picture it in two dimensions. You can quite literally, you could imagine sending light beams out. We do this measurement actually, we can look at the most distant light we can see, which is something called the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is, if you imagine looking out, if you look at the Andromeda galaxy, which we can see with the naked eye, it's the most distant object you can see with the naked eye, and it's about two million light years away or so which means the light took two million years to get to us. So it's a long way away, but it's very big. So as you look further out into the universe to more and more distant galaxies, you're looking further back in time because you look at something that's a billion light years away, then the light took a billion years to get to us. So you see it as it was a billion years in the past. And we can actually look so far out